Hello friends, here in this video, we will see a problem on how to calculate the difference of pressure by using differential manometer. So here we have the question, a pipe contains an oil of specific gravity 0.9, a differential manometer connected at the two points A and B shows a difference in mercury level as 15 centimeter, full stop find the difference of pressure at the two points. So this is the question which we have. Now whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data. In data part, it is first given, a pipe contains an oil of specific gravity 0 0.9. So specific gravity of oil is for oil it's equal to 0 0.9 now once we know the specific gravity of oil we can calculate the density of oil here itself therefore density of oil it will be equal to specific gravity multiplied by density of standard liquid that is water and the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so here we have density of oil as 900 kg per meter cube. The next, a differential manometer is connected at the two points A and B shows a difference in mercury level as 15 centimeter. This difference in mercury level is nothing but H that is 15 centimeter and it's equal to 0 0.15 meter find the difference of pressure at the two points this is the question for us the difference of pressure i'll write it as pa minus pb because pa indicates the pressure in pipeline a pb indicates pressure in pipeline b now if we look at this question here we are having only one liquid that is oil so it is understood that in both the pipeline pipe a and pipe b both of them carries oil of specific gravity 0 0.9 and since the fluid is same we can consider here that it is from this figure b this figure b it can be used for fluids when they are at the same level so here i can refer this figure for the problem which is given to us now if i refer this figure as mentioned the height h is given into the problem now we would be balancing this differential manometer to get the difference in pressure so here i'll write down for the solution part since balancing the left and right limb of differential manometer now how to balance the differential manometer here we are referring to this second figure see in this left portion there is oil and even in this right portion there is oil because both the pipelines they contain the same fluid now first time balancing the left part as i can see oil is filled so first we have to take the pressure of point a that is inside the pipeline so here i'll write down therefore pressure at point a plus now there is even pressure exerted by the oil filled in left limb and in the left limb the total height of oil is x plus h as we can see here this distance is x plus h so this column of oil will also exert a pressure and its value will be written as rho g into x plus h since i am writing for fluid in pipe a i'll write the density as rho a now if we go on to the right hand side again here we have oil in pipeline b so this left portion should be equal to the right portion next there is oil filled up to distance x so 
I'll write down plus rho g into x. Now since we are writing for pipeline B, I'll write density of fluid in pipe B. Next there is mercury filled up to level H. So here this will be plus rho g into H. This is mercury so I am writing M here. Now this is the equation which we have. After this if I open the brackets here it would be PA plus rho A g into x plus rho A g into h it's equal to pressure in pipeline B plus rho B g into x plus rho A of mercury g into height of mercury. Now, as we see here in this problem, the density, since we are using oil on both the sides, so density A, rho A will be equal to rho B. This is a very important consideration here. So with the help of that, what we can do here, therefore, as we can see, it is a very important conclusion here that both the pipeline, they are having oil. So the density of oil is same in both the pipes so we can say that therefore rho a and rho b they are same so if rho a is equal to rho b i can cancel this term next whatever remains i'll put it onto the right hand side so therefore here i have p a this p b i'll shift it to the left hand side it will be equal to density of mercury G into H. This term will go on to the right hand side. This would be minus rho A G into H. So from this, therefore, here we have density of mercury G into H. These values, we all the values we have here. So I'll say that therefore, I'll put all the values. PA minus PB it will be equal to the density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube G is 9.81 H is given in the problem it is 0 0.15 minus rho of A the density of oil we have calculated it is 900 G is 9.81 and H is again 0 0.15 so from this, if I calculate throughout, I will be getting my answer of PA minus PB. And my value is 18.69 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter square. So if we see in this problem, the question was to find the difference of pressure at the two points that is at point A and point B. So here we have calculated that difference of pressure and the answer is PA minus PB is equal to 18.69 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter square and with this we complete the problem.